Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Endgame. So, just a disclaimer before we start. Uh, I have been kind of away for the past couple of weeks. Uh, mainly for two reasons. One, because I was on holidays. And two, because you can still kind of notice that I've been kind of sick and I'm, I still am, kind of, you can understand by my voice, uh, uh, I still have TMI, a runny nose and a bit of a cough, but it's getting better, so yeah, I actually had this video planned for Friday because I watched the movie on Thursday, but I, on Friday I couldn't I could barely talk, like, my throat was so sore, yeah, you wouldn't be able to understand anything I say, I hope you do now, uh, I think it's way better than it was on Friday, but yeah, so I thought it wasn't late to put up this video, because there's still so many people going to the cinema to watch the movie, I know the, like, major fans, the biggest fans, um, they went like right away when the movie came out and here in Portugal it came out like one day before the States, so that's always nice. Um, but there are still people that haven't seen the movie and let's be honest, everyone want to talk about it, so this is going to be a no spoiler video, but if you want to talk about specifics, if you've watched the movie and you want to talk about it, just hit me up on Twitter or on Instagram, I've been talking to some people on Twitter through DMs, so if you want to talk about the movie, I'm open to it, I really want to talk about it and I kind of want to go watch it again, but yeah. Without further ado, let's get into actual thoughts, stuff about the movie. Yes, I'm going to be reading stuff from my phone and yes, it's just to show off my case because I got it. I got both these and these when I was on holidays. I went to Disneyland and there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of Marvel stuff. I'm, I was just said that there wasn't anything about Loki. There wasn't one thing, one Loki thing there. And I wanna Loki stuff, but yeah. So in case you have been living under the rock and you don't know what Endgame is about, it's basically the second part of Infinity War, where all the basically all the Marvel superheroes thought Thanos, the biggest villain ever from the Marvel, um, from the MCU, and in this movie they fight him again and try to bring back their friends that, spoiler alert, uh, died in Infinity War. So that's basically all I can say without getting into spoilers because I know most people guessed what they were going to do uh, to try and bring them back, but there might be people that haven't been um, paying attention to behind the scenes photos, from set photos and, and don't know this so I'm just going to say this thing and yeah, leave it at there so I won't get into spoilers. This movie stars Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, among so many others, like all the cast is pretty known mainly because of all the other uh, Marvel movies but yeah, this movie is a lot about the original six and yeah, since we're in that, at that, let's get into my actual thoughts. First off, whoa, like I gotta say, I, re I got really really into Marvel because of Infinity War. I had seen Thor, I had seen all the Thor movies, I had seen Guardians of the Galaxy, I had seen Spider-Man. I've always been a fan of Spider-Man, I've seen all the other movies that weren't part of the MCU, uh, but 
if you two are was the one that really got me into the whole like fan base I would say like I've always been a fan of I, I wouldn't say a fan but I've always like kind of like Thor and obviously Loki was the character that I got into first even though I wasn't such a fan then as I am now but yeah Infinity War was the one that got me into the whole thing and needless to say I was really excited about these and I, I just like to see a bunch of superheroes getting together like it's the same thing with the DC shows on CW I always love to see the crossovers to see Hero and Flash together so that's my favorite thing about these uh, kind of crossovers these mixed things then is to see all the superheroes fight together but on one hand this movie is a lot more dramatic than Infinity War mainly because they lost so many people in the end of that movie so now they are dealing with it they are dealing with the feelings of losing those people like basically everyone lost someone and like everyone is sad and depressed and all of that so most of this movie is like dramatic it has a like really sentimental part to it but it also has like a lot of comedy as any Marvel movie and uh, like fight scenes obviously it's what it's what, what you expect to be honest right you expect all of them fighting a villain in this case Thanos and to be honest there's not much I can say without spoilers uh, so I'm just going to say that the three hours runtime wasn't an issue for me it, it passed by like that like really quickly no pun intended uh, like everything in there made sense to me I've seen people saying that some scenes could have been cut maybe but it wasn't like I was watching it thinking this doesn't really need to be here everything to me seemed like was in the exact place that it should be so yeah and obviously as you can expect all the actors were pretty good but I have to kind of highlight my favorites like Chris Hemsworth was for me one of the best I know people were really sad and really kind of angry about what they did with it, his character uh, I'm not going to talk much about it but a lot of people had an issue with him with Thor's character um, but I understand but I also think in a movie like that is dealing with a lot of dramatic stuff you would need to have a comic relief and I know Ant-Man was there and he was also like like really funny he was like probably my second favorite I really like Ant-Man but you had you had to have someone to like relax the stuff like to give it a break on a drama and Thor was that character, he was the comic relief without Gar Guardians there you had to have someone to give you the comic stuff so Thor and Ant-Man were those characters and I kind of understand why they did that but I also want to understand why people are mad and yeah overall this movie like really lives up to the hype as I've seen a lot of people saying, there's there won't be a movie like this anytime soon, I don't think. Like this has so much like heart and so much like good stuff overall. Like 
CGI is amazing as you can expect, the story is also good and if you know me there's just one thing that I'm mad about but yeah I don't know why I was expecting something else but yeah overall this is just amazing and if you're not a fan of superheroes you are really missing out because this is a one in a lifetime event like there won't be this anytime soon or even ever so yeah in terms of scores as you might guess by now overall I gave it a four and a half out of five it's just because of that one thing that I'm not giving these five stars out of five because everything else was amazing I think they wrapped up everything really beautifully apart from that one storyline but yeah and cinematography wise I also give it a four and a half out of five because what else would you expect from a Marvel movie like CGI is amazing I watched it on IMAX in 3D and the 3D was pretty amazing uh, all the shots were really good I don't think there was one that I didn't like or that bothered me much so yeah and originality wise I give it a 4 out of 5 because most things were expensive but there's also some that weren't so some stuff most people guessed so I don't think it was that original but this is mostly original like this event is something that like I said not happens often or ever so yeah so guys, these are my thoughts on Endgame, let me know in the comments if you've watched the movie, uh, what you thought, were you happy, uh, were you sad, I didn't really cry, I cheered up a bit, but I didn't really really cry, I know a lot of people cried, so let me know if you were one of those that cried a lot, or if you were like me that just teared up a bit, uh, and yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!